Hey guys, I thought I'd talk to a few of you about uh, uh, fishing kayaks. So um, let me let me qualify this right at the outset and say that any fishing kayak is better than no fishing kayak, right? Um, anything that gets your ass into a seat and on the water is going to be a win-win situation, right? However, I get asked this a lot: Why should I? pay two or three times more for some of the kayaks than a lot of them kayaks that are out there. Don't be a cheap ass. Work out what your budget is and buy the best kayak that you can inside that budget. Shopping on price isn't always going to get you what you need. All right. Um, I know plenty of people that have got fishing kayaks sitting in their sheds and they just don't use them anymore because they're too uncomfortable, they can't carry them, they can't lift them onto the roof of their car, all these things you've got to consider. So let's cut to the chase. There are a lot of cheap kayaks now on the market. Kayak fishing has exploded, it's huge, all right? But now there are more and more cheap kayaks on the market. Some of those kayaks are okay some aren't frankly um, but uh, my advice is always going to be don't waste your money if you really want to get into this sport get something that really suits you but how do you know what really suits you right so there's a couple of basic criteria that you need to look at um, one is the hull design so that's under the kayak you want a hull that uh, tracks straight don't don't talk about rudders and stuff that's all an addition. You want a hull that tracks well without a rudder, right? You don't want to be uh, killing yourself, building up huge arm muscles and everything, just trying to get the kayak to go straight, right? And this applies as much um, whether it's a pedal or a paddle kayak. So the best of the pedal kayaks have really good hull designs. The best of the paddle kayaks have really good hull designs. Most of your cheap kayaks, well, yeah, it, it varies, frankly, right? Sometimes not so good. So you want a hull design, a really good hull design. Um, second thing you want is you want to be looking at deck space, so manageability. You want to be able to set your kayak up the way you want it, right? Now, some kayaks you're going to have to drill holes in it to mount things. Other kayaks you're going to be lucky enough to come with track mounts and so on, so you don't have to go drilling lots of holes in your kayak. It really depends on how much you want to spend, right? You don't need to buy a kayak that's covered in track mounts. However, um, that's definitely an advantage if you did that. Um, I, would, I would strongly recommend, number one, you get a kayak that um, has a good hull design. Number two, that your deck layout is what you need on average, right? So work, work out what you're likely to be carrying with you on average and then figure out whether you're going to be able to fit that. Um, third thing, and probably to me, the second most important thing would be the seat. Right. I would get, I would buy the, the best possible seat I could with my kayak. Right now, some kayaks don't come with seats and you've got the option of buying a seat. Don't buy a cheap ass seat. Um, if your kayak comes with a seat, try it out first. Not all seats are equal, right? You want a seat that you can sit in for long periods of time. In two hours, if you've got a sore ass and you want to get out of the kayak, then, you know, sorry, but <laughs> your seat's no good. Having a seat that goes up and down is a huge advantage. So a low position and a high position or multiple high positions, um, it, it's an enormously, uh, it, it gives you a whole new perspective, what you can see, you can see a lot further um, into the water. An even bigger advantage is the ability to stand up. And I can't understate that. Um, it, obviously that's combined with the seat and the hull design. If you can afford it, get yourself a kayak which allows you to stand up. Trust me, your, your thighs, your ass and everything are going to thank you for it. 
if you're able to get up out of your seat and have a bit of a stretch, um, you're going to be on the water so much longer. At the end of that two hours, you're not going to be saying to yourself, oh, Jesus, I've had enough, right? You'll be out there all day and you'll be able to do that comfortably, right? But you need the right seat and you need to be able to stand up. Standing up has another really big advantage. It gives you a massive advantage over being able to see into the water and what you're fishing at. Um, and unless you can stand up, you got no clue. You don't realize that, right? Uh, so believe me, being able to stand up, big, big advantage. So like I said, you really want to try and get a kayak that you're going to use. There's no point in buying something that's going to sit in your garage because it's uncomfortable. So do your research. Cheap kayaks aren't always the answer. As I said at the outset, most important thing is get your ass into the seat of a kayak and they're out on the water. The more of us that are out on the water with this great sport, the better off everyone is, right?